Let's go back to Jenny May in Taupo now. Morena, <laughs> Jay May. How's the bird? How's Parakuhi? Yeah, well, well, we don't know yet because we actually haven't met Parakuhi yet. I mean, you know, you were talking about saving lives. Well, we're saving Kiwis this morning. Well, I'm not Helen, is. <laughs> Helen McCormick, who's the husbandry manager. Um, here at the Kiwi Borough, um, you, yeah, I mean you've been here for you, been here since this opened in 2019, but you've been doing this for a long time, eh, Helen? Yeah, I have been doing this for a long time, about 25 years. Yeah, um, on and off between yeah. kids, and yeah. So is it, is it still a buzz when you get to oh. release these little guys into the wild? Absolutely, it's sort of a bit heart wrenching, but you know yeah. they're going to the place that we want them out in the wild, so that's awesome. And so it's awesome to see these guys take that next step into um, living out there in the bush. When you say heart-wrenching, is it because you feel like the mama releasing your babies <laughs> out into the wild? <laughs> yeah, that next step, the independence, yeah. and off they go. Yeah. yeah. OK, well, we're going to get Parakuhi uh, shortly. But before we do that, for those of you who saw this, this is a reminder, for those of you who didn't see this, Parakuhi hatched live on air. Take a look. What? That has happened so yeah. fast. It's sitting there thinking, what the hell is going on? <gasps> There's a world outside the egg. Oh! No. oh. That is cool. Go, you little bird. Just... Oh, we're proud of you. We will have your 8 o'clock-ish news soon, Ish. but... You're all right, if we wait a little this bit, is, I am yeah, yeah, this, this is, is live, incredible. live from Taupo. So this is absolutely happening now. This little kiwi, this beautiful, oh. precious bird is hatching as we speak. Wow. Having a little bit of a uh, whakata, a <gasps> rest. Yeah. Before it. Wow. There's a it's life force here, right? It's had enough of the egg now, it wants to get out in the yeah. And obviously just got to kick, kick itself free, right, now? Yeah. Oh, this is very cool. Okay, so... That was what we saw on air, which was about six weeks ago. So from that to... <laughs> Look! And I say him, we don't know whether it's a he or a she. But there you go. That's Parakuhi. Kia ora. Tēnā oh, <laughs> oh. That's beautiful, Jamie. Yeah, she's been very well behaved. Yeah. Generally, it's quite a wriggly little chick. Wow. Yeah. But pretty subdued this morning. Maybe, maybe he knows that there's something, something big is about to happen today. <laughs> yeah, mm. so I'll just start with a little health check yeah. that I'm going to do. So I'm going to just put my hand under the tummy. This is where we might get some wriggling happening. So, <laughs> yeah, quite a big round tummy. So he's eaten really well overnight. Which is a good sign. Yeah, it's yeah. a really good sign. Just gonna have a little look at the eyes. Oh, there he there goes. Go. Wriggly time. It, and that's what you want, right, Jay, mate? You want to them to be sure feisty. Nice and bright. And well, I'm gonna have a look at these little out. feet here as well. <clears throat> yeah, 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 you do. Actually, uh, Vita, who we were checking before, was doing exactly the same thing, although a bit more vocal, wow. to be fair. Um, and Helen was saying, yeah, that that is a good sign. You want them to be. You want them to have some, um, some vim, some feistiness about them as they head out. That's right. Yeah. It's, um, it's good that they're nice and feisty for the wild. Um, and, uh, to, you know, it bodes well for them surviving well yeah. out there as well. Okay. So, so the next part of this process, so you've checked everything and everything looks okay? Yeah, with I've got Parakuhi? a really nice cover over the backbone here. So we've got a little bit of um, condition on this bird going out into the wild to make that transition. You know, um, they do need to learn to find shelter. Yeah. Um, it's been a bit wet, which is actually quite a good thing because it means the insect life has come back. So we've had quite a dry summer, and with this little short bill that these babies have got, they can only forage in the top layer of the leaf litter. So um, that, when that dries out, it makes it hard for these guys to find food. So this guy uh, is going out at a really good time. We've had that rain. The insect life will be coming back to the surface, making foraging really easy for this bird. Can I just say, it's really hard for me not to touch Parakuhi, but there's a really good reason for that. And we touched on it just before 8 o'clock when we were um, working with Vita, who's also being released into the wild today alongside Parakuhi, so he's got a mate. Um, but... The, the, the less human contact and the 
I guess fondling of them, the, the better. That's right. We, yeah. we, try to, we try not to tame them down. Yeah. They do get a little bit used to the routine. So today's going to be out of routine, so it's going to be quite a stressful day for this bird. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, we'll check the microchip, and then we'll put Parakuihi in for a weigh in the, on the scales here, okay. and then we'll pop them into the box, okay. ready for the journey. All right, let's, well, you continue on um, with that process, Helen. So it's been, yeah, it's been a big morning so far for us, and obviously, as I said earlier, we've got Vita, who's going at the same time as uh, little Parakuihi. And so the drive to... Um, the sanctuary mountain Maunga Tautari, which is in Waikato, will be about an hour, hour and a half um, for our Kiwi. So again, an, a, a big day. Usually they're only handled once a day. But today, and I, I reckon Parakuihi's got a bit of a sense about what's happening today, that something big is about to happen. So we'll put Parakuihi into the car drive him up to Sanctuary Mount Maunga Tautari and there's going to be a special ceremony actually and unfortunately where Parakuihi has come from, which is Taranaki, uh, the iwi, the local iwi there cannot travel because of COVID etc. So we've got mana whenua who are going to join us up at uh, the sanctuary who will do a bit of a karakia before we release these kiwis um, out into the wild. And the beautiful thing about this is that whilst it's being done a little bit later on this morning, you're going to see all of that on uh, Monday morning. So we're going to go up and film this, um, and it's an absolute privilege to be able to do that. So can we take... Are we good to go? We're good to go. So yep. we're going to take Parakuihi out of the box here yep. and into the travel box. I can't tell you how amazing it is to be in the presence of these birds. I know when we first came in here this morning we, we put the lights on and we left them for a couple of minutes to get used to the light and then to see them running around it really was incredibly special and it, and it was a moment. Are there quite and a bit of nerves Jamie? Are there quite a bit of nerves in terms of you know releasing Parakuhi out or, or any of the kiwi birds there that they go. do release? No, I, I, don't, I don't, there's no nerves around the, today's release, right, Helen? This is just a natural process, well, in, in terms of natural, of letting these guys go out and, you know, do what they do. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's where they should be, mm. and that's what we like to see. Yeah. And the nerves are on our part. Indira, not, <laughs> not on their part, because they do, they do this. <laughs> yeah. hey, it's, it's just us. Yeah. And, and, it's, and it's re it really is funny, because when I did come in here, and I... I mean, you know, I, I do cry at the drop of a hat, but it was <laughs> overwhelming when you saw these little guys and knowing that they were going to, you know, be put yeah. out into the world and that they have to fend for themselves. And I guess it, that's my, what it must be like when your kids leave the house, and that's exactly <laughs> what Helen was saying as well. OK, so I'm going to... So we're going to trust you, do yes. you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can trust me, Helen. To carry Parakuihi here. Yep. And, and um, start on the journey off to Mangatatru. Yeah, so I'm really lucky in that I get to drive Parakuihi up to wow. the Sanctuary Mount Maunga Tautari. As I said, it's an hour, hour and a half journey away. Um, so, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I feel special. some sense of responsibility, uh, responsibility yeah. pressure, all of that. But we're going to get um, him or her there safely. Yeah, anyway... So it's cool been a be very a part special morning, journey. Helen. Thank you so yep. much. Well, we trust you with that anyway, Yes, so, thank, uh... thank you. Yes, we trust me with that, uh, with this. But um, we'll see you guys again on Monday morning and uh, with the release of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Kiwi. Anyway. Yeah. Drive safe, I've got things yeah. to Drive safe. I'm very busy. Uh, oh, goodness me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. She's I'm off. Like, and Parakuihi's off as well. This is oh, so God. exciting. So we'll show you the results of that on Monday morning. Jenny May's big drive.